it's June 24th, 2016. I'm Megan Peterson with your Catch Can Daily News with the recap. Repairs to Berth 3 are making headway this week after a cruise ship struck and damaged the dock earlier this month. Workers with Turnigan Marine Construction replaced two dolphin caps, the platforms that sit atop five piles at the end of the berth that give the mooring structure strength. Turnigan workers used a 300-ton crane to move the approximately 50,000-pound caps this week. To finish the repairs, workers will coat exposed welding and bare metal, replace the catwalk and gangway, and redo electrical work. While the approximately $928,000 repair contract requires Berth 3 to be repaired and usable by July 5th, the city and Turnigan are trying to get the cruise ship dock fixed and ready by this Thursday, which is a six-ship day. Peace Health Med- Ketchikan Medical Center will host a ribbon-cutting ceremony this weekend to unveil the new addition to the hospital campus in Ketchikan. The addition includes more than 70,000 square feet of newly constructed operating and clinical space. The ceremony is scheduled for 10.30 a.m. on Saturday in the hospital's new parking garage, and tours and a barbecue will follow the ceremony. The expansion is slated to begin taking patients later this year. Women in Safe Homes is hoping to build a transition plan as it continues losing board members and key staff while issues drag on for the women's shelter. The organization has lost six board members this year, including its chairwoman, Carla Reinhardt. Its current executive director, Beth Bogard, said she will resign by July 15th. Which is made funder, the Council on Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault will continue to hold the nonprofit on probation until October. At a special Thursday meeting, the current board voted to bring a former CDVSA director, Ginger Bame, to Ketchikan to help plan a path forward for the shelter. Thursday also saw two new members unofficially join the board, retired attorney Dennis McCarty and artist Merle Hawkins. They'll be officially stated, seated at the next meeting. The second annual race to Alaska began in Port Townsend, Washington this week. 58 teams began the 750-mile journey to the first city on Thursday morning, and all but three teams made it through the first leg qualifier. All qualifying racer, racers, including four sailors from Ketchikan on teams Ketchikan and Salish Express, made it safely to Victoria, B.C. The race will continue on Sunday with the first place prize of $10,000 cash and a second place prize of steak knives waiting in Thomas Basin. Last year's winners completed the race in less than a week. Well, that's it. Check out this weekend's waterfront for a commercial fisheries update and in the scene, Stephen's puppets visit to the Ketchikan Public Library. I'll leave you with the photo of the week. This has been Megan Peterson with your Ketchikan Daily News Weekly Recap. Have a good weekend.